Hi. Yeah, no need to move off the road or anything. It's all good. Hey, little guy. Hi, little guy. You are the cutest. You're so tiny. You guys live in a very beautiful area. Look at the mountain ranges around here. Wow. <laughs> Cruzy. Cruzy, you be nice. Hey. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Cruz, Cruz, I had to apologize to them for you being so <laughs> sorry. You can go back, enjoy your day now. <laughs>
There's a small RV parked out back. All these tiny little homes. And they all look empty. Horses are so beautiful. You guys know I've never ridden a horse in my life, ever. I even dated a girl who used to, I can't remember if she did horse jumping. It was called, ah, it was some name for it. I don't remember what it was. But yeah, I dated a girl who was a horse girl a long time ago and uh, I've never been on a horse in my life, but I find them incredibly beautiful. Hey, hold on, wait a minute. This is where we started like two days ago. You guys remember I told you yesterday that I seen this sign here and I also seen this sign at the beginning over there. Man, we did, we did a full loop. <laughs> oh my gosh. I never went up this road for the reason that that sign said that there was a slide or something, that it was closed, so I didn't go up here. Here's the same posse of cows, except for these ones are a bit stubborn. Morning, guys. Hi. You mind if we squeeze by here? Why, thank you very much. <laughs> the van clearly has had some fun times over these last few days. <laughs> My ladder, it's brown. <laughs> Damn, I love that thing. I really enjoyed my time here around Clinton, BC. And I learned yesterday that there's a road that goes from Lillooet, the place we filmed a lot in at the beginning of this COVID stuff, a road from Lillooet that comes into Clinton, and then a road from Clinton that goes all the way down into Williams Lake, which is like 200K or something like that from where we are here, something like that. So you can literally drive backcountry all the way through these towns. And I think I would love to do that one day. I'm definitely not gonna be doing it on this trip, but I think maybe making, maybe one of my next big adventures doing as much of Canada as I can in the backcountry without touching pavement or very little pavement. Something like that sounds so appealing to me. But before we do that, the van would need a locking rear end, that's for sure, and a winch because I wouldn't want to be out in the backcountry with no way of contacting anybody and no way of self-recovering my van if I ever got stuck. So before a trip like that would happen, the van would need a whole lot more upgrades, <laughs> that for, that's for sure. Um, loved it here, highly recommend it. This is one of those towns that I think a lot of people just drive through. Um, get in the backcountry, guys, look at it. <laughs> so much of it around here. Anyway, I've had enough of the backcountry for a day or two, maybe a day. So I think we're gonna drive on some pavement for a while. Let's go that way.
find her. She was barking. There's a puppy over there, buddy. She's so cute when he sits like that. He always puts his feet on my on my luggable loo toilet and looks out the front window. He is the, the ultimate travel companion. We're in 70 Mile House BC, or at 70 Mile BC, something like that. And uh, just poked our nose down a road here that goes down to Green Lake. Are you ready, Cruz? Are you ready to hit the road, buddy? We're gonna go to Green Lake. Yeehaw, Green Lake, here we come. Green Lake Campground with lakefront camping. Um, yes, freaking please. And there's not really anybody here. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, so excited. I'm gonna play a little game of horseshoes over here. <laughs> you gotta bring your own horseshoes though. I've never played that before, ever. All right, let's go read some signs over here. 18 bucks a night, which includes the taxes, and the attendant will collect the fee. I love this hoodie. <laughs> totally awesome. It's been super windy outside and you guys probably can't even hear me. Filming in the wind sucks. feels so good to come home, you know? And it's weird to say that because I was in the front seat out exploring most of the day today, but it feels good to actually come in the back and go home, take your shoes off. <laughs> oh, it was a really good day today, man. I've had quite a few really good days since we've started this adventure. Hey, haven't we, buddy? Uh, we've seen some pretty cool things. We put the van to the test. <laughs> Speaking of that, I gotta find myself a car wash here in the next few days and get some of this dirt off the outside of my van. But it feels really nice to be home. And if you're not living in a van, it's a bit of a weird thing to think about because technically in the front seat, you're home all day. But up in front of that curtain, that's my vehicle. Back here is my home. There's a complete divide and difference when you live in a van between your home and the front because I have a different feeling sitting up there than I do back here. But the only difference between this and my old life is if I ever wanted to go down and get in my vehicle and go for an adventure, it was always a big deal and a big to-do. Now I just get out of bed, <laughs> get on my knees, crawl over there, jump in the front damn seat, and we are off on a, an adventure. From my bed to the steering wheel that takes us to all the fun little places, or probably within a, I don't know, 10 foot gap, maybe, maybe less. It's a pretty great feeling. We've had some, <sighs> guys, I can't even think today. Thanks for hanging out with us. <laughs> hey, Cruzy. Stop, please, do you mind? Oh, crap. <laughs> His zipper's down. <laughs> my, my bad. What are we gonna make for dinner, guys? What are we gonna make for dinner? We got dried figs. Ooh, we can do something simple as like pasta. We can make some rice and put some stir fry veggies on top. That sounds good, but it sounds like it's gonna take a while. 
Cruz, we have to say goodbye to them. We have to say goodbye. Yeah, we have to say goodbye. <laughs> Grody, buddy. All right, guys. See you later. Cruzy, over there. Don't stop licking me. Do I need to have a shower? Do I smell bad? Do I smell bad? Oh! Oh, my downloads are done. Looks like we're going to start watching the TV series Animal Kingdom today. <laughs> you know what that means? Netflix night in the van. And this is my TV. This tiny little thing in my hand is my TV. Thanks for watching, you guys. See you tomorrow.